These strangely shaped, twisted toroid propellers look like a big step forward for the aviation and shipping businesses. They are much quieter than regular blades, both in the air and on the water, and they are much more efficient. The purpose of a propeller is to move a material, usually air or water, by making it spin. In some ways, they are different versions of the Archimedes screw, which was probably used in ancient Egypt hundreds of years before Archimedes wrote about it in 234 BC. When it comes to rotating devices, there haven't been many big design changes in a long time. For example, propeller-driven aircraft still use twisted airfoil-bladed propellers like the ones Chinese kids played with 2400 years ago, even though they aren't much better than the wooden propellers that the Wright brothers made in wind tunnels in 1903. Screw-shaped blades are still used on boats, and some of them date back to the 1700s. So it's interesting that a couple of groups say they've shown that a very different shape works better in both the air and the water. Specifically, they say that the strange, twisted toroid ring shapes are both much quieter than traditional designs and so much more efficient, especially in the water, that they could be a huge step forward. Something could change the way things work. One of the biggest problems with multi-copter props is the annoying noise they make, which is often called whiny because a lot of it is in the same frequency range as a baby crying. People respond best to sounds that are between 100 Hz and 5 kHz. This makes sense from an evolutionary point of view because this is where people hear vowel sounds, which are very important for speaking. But it is a very important problem if we want multi-copters to reach their full potential and fill the sky with fast, cheap, and clean ways to get around. Residents and people in charge don't want to add more annoying sounds to city life. A group at MIT's Lincoln Laboratory that was working on an ion-powered plane that didn't make noise thought if different shaped propellers could be used to make multi-rotors less noisy. As we all know, propellers make a lot of noise, says Dr. Thomas Sebastian, a senior member of the Structural and Thermal Fluids Engineering Group at the Lincoln Lab. We can also look at wing structures to figure out how that works. Back in the early 1900s and during World War II, when people had all kinds of crazy ideas for airplanes, there were a couple of designs that were basically just these ring wings. So I wondered what a ring wing would look like if it were turned into a fan. Sebastian says, we thought of using a toroidal shape, like this ring-shaped wing, to make a quieter propeller. I had a really great intern take care of the idea. He used 3D printers to try out the idea in a number of different ways. After a few tries, the team came up with a design that reduced noise in the 1 to 5 kHz band and total noise at a given thrust level. In fact, they sound more like a rushing wind than a rotor, and the noise they make is much less annoying. The team says that a drone with these propellers makes about the same amount of noise as a regular drone, but from about twice as far away. The main thing we thought made the propellers quieter was that the vortices they make are now spread out over the whole shape of the propeller instead of just at the tip, Sebastian says, which means that it gets rid of itself faster in the air. You are less likely to hear that tornado because it doesn't move as far. Some noise from propellers can be reduced by putting acoustic treatment rings around their paths. These rings can also serve as safety guards for the propellers, but they add extra mass which drains the battery, and they can catch the wind when the drone is outside, making it work harder to stay stable. The crew looked into these strange-looking toroidal propellers to see if they would make the ship's power less effective. The team's best B-160 design was not only quieter at a given thrust level than the best standard propeller they tested, but it also produced more thrust at a given power level. This is pretty amazing! considering that standard propellers have been developed for more than a century, while these toroids are still in their early stages and have a lot of room for improvement. Also, their looped design not only makes them more stable, but it also makes it less likely that a prop will cut, hook, or clip anything it comes in touch with. You don't want them to hit you in the face, but it does make you a little bit safer. Because these designs are so complicated, they are much harder to make than normal props that are made with cheap and easy injection molding. Most likely, you'll need to 3D make things like these. Even if they double or triple the price of propellers, they are still a cheap part of a drone, 
so the total effect may not be too hard on the wallet. At this point, it's not clear if ideas like these could be used on a larger scale to replace traditional propellers on fixed-wing planes or electric vertical takeoff and landing or VTOL, air taxis. The latter seem to be much quieter than helicopters. But if they end up taking over the skies of cities with fast, cheap, and environmentally friendly air travel, every decibel of noise will matter in terms of public and government resistance. The most important question is what frequencies these larger props will fill in the audio spectrum, and whether the toroidal props will change the sound in a more human-friendly way. It's not clear if the team plans to make money off the idea, but MIT seems ready to let interested companies license it. A bigger plus on the water. Drones and aviation are one thing, but aerodynamics and hydrodynamics are closely linked. And it turns out that a similar product is already in the works in the maritime domain. Charro Marine's boat propellers with toroidal loops instead of straight blades have been very successful. After several years of study, the company has already tested their propellers against hundreds of regular propellers. And the difference is amazing. Charro's propellers don't make tip vortices, which are a big reason why energy is lost and makes a shocking amount of noise from outboard motors. Toroidal propellers move a boat further with each turn by reducing the amount of water that slips out of the sides of the blades, instead of being pushed through. They usually make a boat go four times as fast at low and medium RPMs, which makes the motor's useful RPM range bigger. And they save about 20% of the fuel used, which is a huge amount given how much energy propeller-driven boats need and how big the business is. Sharo says that they have the interesting effect of reducing a boat's tendency to tilt backwards as it speeds up. Instead, the whole boat comes out of the water while staying much more level. Also, the impact on noise is very strong. In fact, the company that makes this propeller says that it can be put on almost any outboard motor and moved at 30 miles per hour or 48 kilometers per hour quietly enough to hold a talk without shouting. It's really cool. Sharo already sells toroidal props that have been CNC machined to fit a wide range of standard boat motors from most major manufacturers. The downside is that they are expensive. No matter what type you choose, they cost $4,999, while a regular propeller can cost around $500. But once again, this is a small part of how much most boats cost and since they use a lot of gas, the investment will pay for itself quickly. It will also make the trip much more pleasant for those on board, people watching from the shore, and sea creatures living below the surface. In the age of energy revolution, these devices must be a great interest to anyone making electric boats, where a 20% increase in range from a $5,000 addition would be a no-brainer. Thank you so much for watching this video.